Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to LSJTV. Now first off, this video is going to be a continuation of the last vlog, Consistency Episode 12. After I realised the video was going to be so long, I cut it down and here is the second part of the video. So we've got some workout footage, a little trip to Asda for you guys to watch as well. And I'm just going to do a commentary over it. So just to let you guys know from the start what kind of video you're in for. So I'm just here in Charlotte's room because it is the quietest room in the house. It's the most out of the way from the kitchen. And actually if you can hear anything coming from downstairs while I'm doing the voiceover, it's because the lads who are moving in downstairs are having a few lads over and having a night out tonight because it is Saturday night and here I am recording this video for you guys ready to be uploaded tomorrow <laughs> I say that as if I'm being good but then refresher starts next week so we all know what that means but anyway let's get on with the video guys sit back relax thanks for tuning in and enjoy the video here we go right what's up guys just chilled for a little half hour hour or so uh, and now I'm just getting changed ready to go to the gym so uh, this video might just be a little bit of uh, gym talking gym, but that's not the end of the world. Something a little bit different for you guys. Uh, I'm going to first go and meet Billy at his house, which is about a 10 minute walk. So I'm going to get some cardio in there. We're going to walk to Asda, which is another 10 minute walk each way. We're going to walk to the gym, which is another 10 minute walk. And then we're going to walk back after the gym, which is another 10 minute walk. So we're going to get a good hour's worth of walking in today, guys. Off we go. I am ready to go to the gym, wearing my... Sheen Fitness top in maroon, black Under Armour shorts, and just some socks at the minute. I don't have any shoes on. Uh, excuse the messy bedroom, student life. Right, oh, I need to change my battery before I leave, and then we'll go, and I'll see you guys at the gym. Okay, what's up guys? As you can see, we are now at Asda, and honestly, I didn't buy any food. We were stocking up on alcohol. It is Refreshers, so which is the second year's version of Freshers at NTU. So here you can see me doing lots of cardio, up hills. Look at that steep hill, guys. Doing that cardio, getting that weight down. It was alright, though. We hatched some Pokemon eggs, as you can see here on the way, too, though. So we walked from Billy's house to Asda, back to Billy's house, and then to the gym, which you can see here. So on to the workout. Today is upper body with back emphasis. So all that means is I'm working the entire upper body, but there is a big emphasis on back rather than shoulders or chest. So, as you can see me here, warming up with a relatively light weight, really getting that form down before we go to the full working set. What I try and do on the lat pull down, guys, is control it on the negative as well. People like to bring it down and then they just release it on the way back up again. That's a big, big, big mistake. Which, if you think about it, guys, it makes perfect sense because it is 50% of the motion. So, you're getting 50% more work out of your muscles than if you don't control it on the negative part of the motion. So, what I would say to you guys is control it, squeeze there, and let it go on the way back up again. Just be sure to control it to get the most out of the movement. So here I am moving on to machine shoulder press. Usually I would use dumbbells for this, but I decided to use the machine because I'm my first workout in the uni gym doing this workout and I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. Here we go, moving on to a seated row. This felt a little bit strange as well because I'm used to doing it on the machine pulleys at the home gym, but we got there, we got our shit done, no excuses now because we have got to stay on track now we're back at university. We've got to stay consistent. Just like I'm staying consistent with my tricep extension form, keeping that elbow locked to the side and really just flexing from the elbow, focusing on moving the tricep and the tricep only. Moving on to straight arm pull downs. This is a strange exercise, but I really like it. Really feel the tension in my lats, really feel the spread at the top. Good movement. Give it a go, guys. Moving on to the first arm movement of the day, bicep curls. This is alternating just so I can focus solely on one arm at a time. Really focus on getting that squeeze, get the most out of the muscle contraction, get the most out of the movement. Moving on to the last exercise of this, of this workout, and that is shrugs. I decided to use dumbbells. I would usually hold plates if I was in the home gym, but again, mixing it up in the university gym. Try new things, guys. So this was finished off with 15 second sprint, 30 second rest. 15 second sprint, 30 second rest. Five sets, guys. Just a quick one because I did a lot of cardio, a lot of walking today. So that is it for today, guys. That is it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this commentary. Hopefully you enjoyed this video as a whole. If you did, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new for loads more good content. Now I'm back at university. So thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.